an incredibly fun puzzle for a director. Our production takes place in a sort of onstage, offstage theater where we see the kind of creative work of putting together this story. It opens with a little bit of a gesture of actually seeing Voltaire's creative process as he's drafting a manuscript for Candide. When we open up into the world of the show and the story, there are a lot of details that are inspired by theatricality that would be concurrent with Voltaire. So things like Baroque machinery or like more old fashioned stagecraft. So we have chandeliers lighting the stage, we have candle footlights, and we also have a lot of these force perspective, two-dimensional props that feel really stagey in a way that I think is quite fun. Candide is a really complicated thing to get the tone right because on the one hand, Voltaire is French and satirical, and on the other hand, Bernstein was like highly influenced by musical theater genres and almost by this sort of like borscht belt comedy. And so some of the jokes are very broad. So we need to have a kind of vocabulary visually that can both be French when we need it to be French and also really let an American audience know like this is for you and you get to laugh and you don't have to hold this at arm's length. My goal in creating a visual world is always to echo the musical footprint that the composer has given us so that we can see what we hear and hear what we see. And Candide is really fun because it has such a level of detail in the score and in the text that there are a lot of little visual jokes that we can include. One of the things that's amazing about Candide is that it's perennially relevant. Voltaire was writing about war and philosophy and politics, and he was kind of icing it all over with this like amazing frosting of humor, like a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down, right? And so in the opera, Bernstein's music does that in an incredible way, where you'll be talking about something that's quite relevant, but the tunes are so catchy and everyone is having so much fun that you get swept up in it. So as a director, it's always gratifying to work on things that are relevant, but what I love about it is it's not preachy, it's incredibly human. And everyone in the piece is a flawed human being who is just trying to get through this kind of like insanity, hilarity of life as best they can. <laughs>